Hi, uh, can I pick up some condoms? Oh, didn't you get some of these last week? Can't have used them all already. Have you got anything better to do? I don't know you have so much time can for I sex. Can I the condoms, please? Should be studying. There we go. Don't use them all at once, will you? Guess I'll see you next week. Hi, uh, oh. can I pick up some condoms? Yeah, sure, of course you can. Oh, I see you've got a 16 to 24 C card. Um, you're over 15, which means you're eligible for free chlamydia testing under the National Chlamydia Screening Programme. Mm. Would you be interested in that? Um, I've never actually taken a test, so... If you've got a few minutes, we can go into the consultation room and I can go through it with you. OK. Yeah, sure. Come with me. OK, so the National Chlamydia Screening Programme mm. involves... Um, three stages. First of all, I'm going to tell you about what chlamydia is, okay. um, and then the various symptoms that it can cause sometimes, okay. and then how we actually go about doing the test. And then I'll sort you out with the um, condoms from your C card as well. Chlamydia um, is a bacterial infection that affects the sex organs. It can be transmitted through oral, vaginal or anal sex. Can it be transmitted through kissing? Uh, no, no it can't, no. Um, it can be symptomless or it can have symptoms. Um, some of the symptoms that you could experience would be unusual discharge, pain when you're going to the toilet or you're having sex. It can um, cause pain in the testes, um, but sometimes you have no, um, no symptoms at all. It can be symptomless uh, even though that you've had um, chlamydia for a while. Okay. Now the test again is very simple. Um, basically it's um, just a urine sample um, and we have a sample here so what I need you to do is actually give me a sample um, in this pot okay. um, and have you been to the toilet in the last hour or so? No. No, okay that's fine. The test result gets sent off and within two weeks you get um, your result to say whether you have chlamydia or you don't have chlamydia. Okay, and it's very simple to treat. It's just a single dose of antibiotics, which you can come back here to have if you do get a positive result. What I need to do is to fill in a form. Sorry, with yeah. these symptoms, um, can it cause um, infertility as well? It can do, yes, in very extreme I've circumstances. That, yeah. yeah, yeah, it can do, um, which is one of the reasons why we want to catch the infection early and we want to actually um, treat it. Um, and treat your partners as well okay. um, so that it stops the infection spreading or you getting reinfected through through your partners. Keep it like confidential if you don't want to keep it from parents. It's totally confidential, the information doesn't go anywhere else, we don't keep your details here, um, it's all, that form will go off with your sample and we, won't, we don't keep any information at all so it is totally confidential. Okay. Cool. Okay, you happy to continue? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. I'll give you this leaflet to take away with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So this is the form that we need to fill in today. I'll just write in my psychos. Have you had any of the um, symptoms that I mentioned in there? You haven't. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So if I can just um, get you to fill this in and I'll go through it with you as okay. I go. So just surname and first name. If you can just stick whether you're male or female and your date of birth. That's lovely. And your postcode, please. Okay, and today's date. Uh, what's the date today? Uh, 21st 0410. Lovely. Okay. Now, um, we've acquired two ways in which to contact you. Um, that can either be your mobile phone number, your home phone number, or um, your address. The reason we didn't need two is that obviously, if one, we can't contact you with one, we use the other. Most people prefer the mobile. You get sent a text um, which says you're either positive or negative. Positive means that you have got the chlamydia infection um, and then you'd come back, you can come back to us or your GP um, and we can give you the antibiotic treatment. If it's negative, then you don't need to do anything at all. That means that you're clear. Um, if we can't contact you with the mobile, then we'll try the phone address. So um, I just need you to pick two of those and just fill in the details for me. Okay, can I choose to have it confidential? Finally? Yes, it's a totally confidential service. Um, none of this information will be transferred onto anybody else. Um, nobody could identify who you are, so it's totally confidential. Okay, okay. is that all right? Yeah. 
Okay, lovely. Now the next bit of the form, this, um, this sticky label is going to go onto your sample, so they obviously know it's, it's you. And um, these code numbers here will identify your sample, okay? okay? And that code number is going to be the same as this code number here, which you're going to take away with you. So what I need you to do again is just put your full name, your date of birth, today's date and the time, which is five to one, and then I'll pop that label onto this sample bottle for you. That's lovely, right. I'm just gonna put that on there so that identifies your sample so that when they test it, they can match it up with this form. There we go, that's absolutely fine. Okay, now the next piece of um, information is just additional information. It's voluntary. You don't have to fill this part of the form in. It doesn't form part of the actual test, but it does give um, some useful information to the screening service. Okay, so the first part is about sexual history. So have you had sex with a new partner in the last three months? So either yes, no, or don't know, or I'd rather not answer. And the second part is, have you had sex with two or more different partners in the last 12 months? Yes, no, don't know, I'd rather not answer. Okay, so if you wish to, you can take um, either questions or neither. So if you want to fill that in, you I'm may. Right, yeah, you. okay. Okay, that's lovely. So that's all the form filling. Now this receipt at the end, you need to keep nice and safe, okay? okay. Um, as I say, they'll contact you within two weeks, but if they don't contact you, you need to ring this number here, on there, or you can go to that website there, and if you quote this number, they'll be able to chase up where your um, sample has gone to, okay, and then obviously chase it up. Or if you do happen to lose this, I'm going to record this number with the date and just very minimal information on, on here so that you can come back and we can actually do that for you if you can't, okay? All right. So if I can ask you to um, go and do the sample now. We've got a toilet just out of this door on the left hand side. So fill that up, tightly screw the lid down so nothing leaks out. And then if you pop it in there and then tightly screw that one. Okay. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay. okay. It's just out there to the left. Thank all you. right. That's great, thank you very much. Okay, so um, I'm gonna pop all of this into uh, the jiffy bag and I shall send that away today. And that will take two weeks? Yeah, maximum of two weeks. Um, and like I said, keep hold of that and if you don't actually get the result within the two weeks, then give that number a call or go on the website to quote that number, okay? Um, so I just need to sort out your condoms and we'll just get your C card out from here and record the supply. Okay, and do you have the um, natural condoms or do you have the mixed? Okay, that's lovely, so that's for you. Okay, pop that back in. Okay, so have you got any other questions you'd like to ask me today? Um, I think I'm done. Okay, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Thank there you. we go. Thank you. Take care.